Hello, my fellow handicappers. This is Weekend Handicapper from WeekendHandicapper.com. In this video, we're going to provide picks and analysis for the 2021 Lexington Stakes at Keeneland, one of the last derby prep races on the road to the Kentucky Derby. So this is one of the final chances that horses have the opportunity to try to make the starting gate of the Kentucky Derby in the first Saturday in May. So let's look at this field. It's a field of 10, which is good. Always good to have a, a large field size. Mile and a 16th going on the dirt at Keeneland. And it's race number nine on Saturday, April 10th. So let's look at each one of these horses one by one. And then at the very end, I'll give you how I'm going to bet this race and some potential tickets, some combinations. All right. So we got Noble Reflection. Early speed horse bushes, there's going to be plenty of speed in this race, I think. It's stretching out, but that shouldn't be a problem for Noble Reflection. It just broke its maiden at Oaklawn Park on, on March 7th. This horse certainly has a chance. Then we look to Swiftsure for Steve Asmussen, undefeated, but coming off a layoff since January 23rd. If it can get the distance, this horse for sure has a chance. So we got another contender. Uh, with these first two horses here. It's got Irad Ortiz aboard, or Irad Ortiz Jr. aboard. So that's always a plus, the way that guy's riding. So look out for Swiftsure, for sure. Then we look at Bezos, Bezos. Bob Baffert has a horse in this race, and he's trying to get another horse in the Kentucky Derby. It just broke its maiden at Santa Anita. I think this horse can run all day, so the mile 16 shouldn't be a problem. Search, certainly watch out for this one, Bezos. It's my house. Now, although this horse just won, it's a recent winner, it, it, to me it seems overmatched in here, so I'm going to pass on. It's my house. Now, Unbridled Honor is a closer in a, in a field that's probably going to have a lot of pace to close in on, so... and. <laughs> Todd Pletcher has been on a roll here lately with that Wood Memorial Zacta and the Florida Derby winner. I mean, can Todd Pletcher win another big Derby prep race? Uh, I think this horse has an outside chance of winning, but certainly, certainly included in your Zactus trifectas and superfectas. Uh, who knows? We might see a repeat of the Wood Memorial, a, a horse closing in at the wire uh, for Todd Pletcher. So definitely, underneath, use it underneath in your Zactus, Trifectus, Superfectus. If you think this horse can close in against all these other horses, then bet it to win. But certainly, a great exotic horse to, to use, I, I feel. Hockey Dad for Doug O'Neill. is coming off a third place finish in the Jeff Ruby Stakes at Turfway Park. Could find a good spot here to win at uh, for Hockey Dad. I'm interested to see how much money Hockey Dad takes. Um, so we'll see. Proxy. What can I say about Proxy? I was supporting it down there in Fairgrounds for trainer Michael Stidham. It's always been knocking on the door. It's a consistent horse, much like Hockey Dad, much like a few of these horses in here. Uh, this could be the field that fi Proxy finally gets it done uh, here, at, here at Keeneland in the Lexington Stakes. But whether or not you're going to get a decent price on Proxy... I'm not sure. Ultimate Badger. Remember, when I talk about horses, there's horses that can win, and there's horses that would be good vertical wager horses that you can key around. So what I mean is you should include these horses, maybe, you know, not put a win bet on these kind of horses, but put, put them in your Zactas, your Trifectas, your Superfectas. This horse, to me, doesn't have a chance to win. But it always seems like it's factoring in fourth place or third place. It's always in the, in the running, it seems like, for the minor. So I think a horse like this can help out your prices if you prefer lower price horses on top uh, in races such as this. So this is a good horse to use underneath, much like that Todd Pletcher horse, Unbridled Honored, uh, that can possibly beef up your... Zactus, Trifectus, and Superfectus. King Fury hasn't raced for trainer Ken, Kenny Mapeak since November 28th at Churchill Downs in the Kentucky Jockey Club. 
I'm going to prefer horses with more recent form than King Fury. Then starring in my dreams for uh, Dallas Stewart, you always got to be on guard with Dallas Stewart in these big races. Typically, I favor Dallas, Dallas Stewart long price horses that are closers or coming off the pace. It seems like that's the ones that he does well with. This one's going to be on the front end, just like many horses are going to be on the front end in this uh, stakes race, derby prep race. So I'm going to play against it, uh, but it seems to be working out well, but I think it's just overmatched here against some of these other horses. So there's the field for the Lexington Stakes or Stone Street Lexington Stakes, whatever the appropriate name is uh, for this stakes race. It's one of the last races, along with the Arkansas Derby, that are considered derby prep races. So these horses are trying to get in. Uh, I've even heard and seen that even if some of these horses finish well here, they might even skip the Kentucky Derby. So we'll see. But where it ranks as a prestigious derby prep race, no, it's not on par with the Arkansas Derby, or Santa Anita Derby, Florida Derby, Louisiana Derby. But it's a good betting race, I think. And to me, that's what it's all about. You know, I'd, I'd much rather bet a race like this with horses that probably won't win the Kentucky Derby much more than watching a six horse field at the Arkansas Derby with a very heavy favorite concert tour that that's not a bettable race races like this are and that's what you always want to look for no matter if they're a grade three race stakes race like this one is or if they're a maiden race big fields with wide open races with many contenders is what you want to look for if you're trying to make money in the long run in horse racing. Not short fields, four horse fields with Gamine just <laughs> the double play paying less than the the wind bed of, of a, yeah, don't get me started about Santa Anita and their short fields and or any racetrack with four, five, six horse fields. I, I'll go on a rant. It's frankly unplayable. You look for other ways to spend your money and other games to to play, in my opinion. So always try to play big horse, big fields, horse uh, races with many contend or with many horses, and hopefully with many contenders in there as well, just like we got here. But how am I going to bet this race? It's many horses with chances to me. I think a lot of intriguing storylines. Should get some good payouts. Now, whether or not we get like a wood memorial kind of a shocker with uh, that huge exact in the, what, 72 to one long shot or whatever Bourbonic was, I doubt if you'll see anything like that here, but hopefully you'll, uh, it'll be decent payouts. But I'm gonna go with Swift Shore. Swift Shore to me, the layoff's a little concerning, uh, and it's not really concerning, but it doesn't make me as confident. Uh, Noble Reflections, another good horse, too, that I'll use on top. And then underneath in my Zactas, I'm going to put Bezos in there. Unbr unbridled Honor, for sure. Hockey Dad. Proxy. I can't leave out Proxy. I'm giving up on Proxy as far as the win bet goes, though. And Ultimate Badger. So my my two top win contenders are Noble Reflection and Swiftshore. Swiftshore is my top selection. And then underneath in Exactas, I'm going to use Bezos. Not a, I, I think that horse is going to relish the distance, uh, just whether or not it could be uh, stay up there on the front end for the, for that long. I, the distance is not a problem for Bezos, just whether or not it gets too much pace pressure up front. Uh, for sure, Unbridled Honor will have enough pace to close in on, so that's why I'm feeling good about that combination including that horse in his act as tries and supers then hockey dad consistent horse proxy a consistent horse and ultimate badger should uh pace scenario should be well for that horse is always factoring in but the price and the odds of beefing up those exotic combinations is the main reason i'm using ultimate badger i'm not a big fan of that horse or think that horse has a shot at all winning but i think it's a good one to use to beef up those Zacta prices. Now, when I always talk about Zactas and Trifectas and Super, just because I mentioned these horses doesn't mean we'll have to see the payouts. You know, when you're looking at those probable pools of how it's paying, you know, if you have two heavy favorite horses, uh, 
You don't want to include those in these actors. If, sure, they might win, but you might lose money on your ticket if you include them, you know, because the cost of your ticket is more than the payout of those horses, low price horses, short odds horses that you included in your exacta. So betting and how to wager is just as important, if not more important than trying to find the contenders and who's going to win the race. Every now and then we'll have shockers like Brabonic at 70 to 2 to 70 something to 1 or whatever it was. But it's very rare. The more likely scenarios of logical horses winning, but you got to be picking out those combinations that most other handicappers and horse players don't have. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind. It doesn't mean you're going to win all the time, but you don't have to win all the time to win money in the end. All right. That's how I see the Lexton Stakes at Keeneland, mile on the 16th on Saturday, April 10th, race number nine. One of the last derby prep races for these horses. Who do you like? I'd love to hear who you like. Put a comment in the comment section below if you're playing this race. I know it's not the most prestigious derby prep race, but it's a good betting race in my opinion. It should be fun to wager on and should be fun to watch. So leave a comment who you like. Always enjoy hearing uh, what selections you, you all have and what tickets you're going to play. And as always, best of luck to you and happy handicapping and smart wagering.